I'd started acting in North Carolina and had an agent there and uh, told, you know, kind of, I don't want to say outgrew North Carolina, but there's only so much that's being filmed there. So she. Teenage boy no, and Malcolm. When he first came here for that summer, uh, he it, the, it wasn't the Malcolm in the Middle audition yet. That came like. A few years a later. later. We ended up not going back because they were like, you can't leave because he just kept booking things and and they're like, you can't leave, you can't leave. Can you homeschool him? It was like, <laughs> I mean, this was so not planned what happened. His yeah. Sixth grade, yeah, homeschooled. Yeah. And, That's uh, my son. <laughs> well, I, I have so much respect for people who do that because I could never, I mean, yeah. I can't even help my, I couldn't help my daughter starting in fifth grade with math. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Thank terrible. Goodness it was, it did start, it was fifth grade and sixth grade, I think, in yeah. homeschool, so it was easier. But and I was at a tutor, because I was always on set. But thank goodness, yeah. when he would work, he would have the studio. Took this to California. Yeah, uh -huh. you know? people, don't ex people don't really know this, but when you get a show, like, you book a pilot, and you just... And now it's in syndication, yeah, right? Yeah. Do you get a little of that Jack from syndication, well, Frankie? I hope so. It's, a, it's, it's, it's allowing me to play band. To meet you, Denise, nice to and, meet and you. again, we're so happy he's feeling, to make sure you have to help him reduce his stress level. <laughs> well, he, you know, I don't live, I live, in, I live here. All right, now let's take a trip down memory lane to the 80s. No, and um, Do you think that this also there was an attitude towards bisexuality, pervasive, but it, you don't have to be only one thing or another. For me, it's the person. I'm in a monogamous relationship. I was interesting fact about you, Usher, that your original you name. You've been talking to my mother. No. <laughs> Usher was Cha -Cha. Yeah. <laughs> right? Usher seemed to be a little bit more unique than Cha Cha. Yeah. In comparison. But, good call. Uh, good but... <laughs> call, Usher. Well, listen, we're so happy you were able to stop yeah. as long and fruitful as Clive Davis. I mean, he's 80 years old and he's still discovering new talent. It's you know pretty what, amazing. You've been supportive of me, and um, I am equally as supportive to you, man. I love you. So, and thank you. That's so. Jesus, hi, I am tall. How tall are you? I'm 5'10 and a half without heels, and I have on a luscious heel. Wow, those, uh, those could may... be something in New York. These if, are you get, if anybody gives you a Don't hard you time. Don't you love them? Yeah, so gorgeous. It's, so nice to meet you. I know it's just fun to have so everybody beautiful. here. Congratulations. So, thank you very much. And to you, I mean, you've enjoyed mm -hmm. over a relatively short period of time. Do you look back on it and say, wow, how did this happen? You know, when you are working and you're doing stuff over and over and over again, you don't ever get a chance to kind of sit and be like, I need to be the girl on the show. And she was like, okay. So weeks went on. I was like, okay, are you going to ever have well, fallen off or yeah. been kicked off, I guess, yeah. right? Kicked off. <laughs> kind of not had that. Still there. What is it about you, you think? That um... I don't know, you know, when people are watching the show, they only see what's happening on the show, so they don't really get to see what's going on behind the scene. There's a lot of things that are happening behind the scene. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you not friends with them anymore? Well, I am not friends with them. Are you friends? But friendies? I know we are frenemies. You are. I know who they are. And you, know. you can probably tell <laughs> Nini's never at a loss for words. And you come up, I bring home a lot of bacon, boo. Mm -hmm. Or you smell like you took a whole bath today. Or where do you, you come know, up with this stuff? I just kind of say whatever is happening at the moment. I love to keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> now, we should mention congratulations are in order because you are getting remarried yes. to your ex. Excited? I am very excited about it. You, I've met Greg in 96, and uh, we've been together ever since. We divorced in 2011. So did he, did he, did he learn? I mean, did he learn I think a lesson? He learned something. And how do you know? What did he learn? And how do you know he learned it? Well, he's back here. <laughs> yeah. He's backstage. They, a lot of women let men do things that they shouldn't let them do. So and you put your foot down, and he came around. I didn't only put it down. I put you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. We're back. He nip tuck the new normal, all those things. He's fabulous, seriously. <laughs> and so he was. So he first put you on, yeah, on Glee. Glee. And in fact, you and I have something in common. We, we have do. both gone head to head with Jane Lynch, <laughs> aka Sue Sylvester, oh, I love on Sue. Glee. <laughs> is so great. And, and how much sweet. fun did you have doing that I show? I had so much fun doing their show. Um, when I met Ryan Murphy, he I, I went out to Los Angeles and we sat down and we talked and he said, you know what, I'm so obsessed with you. And then from that, he said to me, hey, I'm doing a new show called The New Normal. Would you play this character Rocky? Things with. So for all of that to change, like me not being able to go to Target, now we got to... And I'm like, that's not even fair. But it definitely is a big change. You know, you no longer can grocery shop or it's a big change. It's a big 
But you have also said, or recently you said, uh, mm -hmm. you, if you never work in TV again, you'll still be happy. Congratulations Thank on you all so your much. success. Thank and you. And tell all tell the you. other housewives. <laughs> There's nobody else over there for you to meet. I just want to say happy. Yeah, you look young. You look young. Not what are really. you doing? No, no, no I'm no. serious. No, it's the lighting. Does she look good? It's the lighting on I'm this I'm sitting set. right here at you. Really I just watched you on that clip. I like your hair short. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you like it short? You, you don't it like was it shorter. this way? It I was know. shorter. I don't know. It took I me like a long time way. to grow it out. So. I love it. I might need to get my roots done, but <laughs> don't tell I, anyone. You know what? I always see you, too. Thank by, you And so you can much. catch Nene on The New Normal <laughs> every Tuesday night on NBC and, of course, on The Real Housewives of Atlanta every Sunday on Bravo. Up next, a British invasion. From, it's a little bit of a change of pace from The Real Housewives. The cast of Downton Abbey is here. We'll be right back. The mystery of music is unbelievable. You know, it could be, I've been working on the railroad, piano, and he played just the melody. To think about it as well. And for telling us about the joys of taking care of your parents as well as... About, um, you need to talk to them about, first of all, their wishes. And what do they want? What are their goals? And that should really shape all the comments of how they're going to pay for that care, uh, legal documents. That had done. That wasn't very helpful, was it? He anyway. didn't pay that guy. Yeah.